All right, so last time we worked on drawing our self-portraits. You can see my examples here. Um, and this time we're gonna work on coloring them. So we're actually gonna be using markers, but instead of just coloring them in kind of normally with markers, we're gonna be turning our markers into paint today. So you might already see a water cup and a paintbrush at your spot. If not, we're gonna get those passed out in a little bit. But when we use our markers and add that water, it's gonna kind of look like watercolor paint, like this one. So I'm gonna show you how to get started with that. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna color this one I think first, and I've got my markers off to the side here. You can basically use any color markers that you want to, but if you pay attention closely, I have mostly the warm colors right here. I've got red, orange, yellow, some more orange, pinks and kind of some pinky purpley colors there too. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna color in. And the really, really awesome thing with this, guys, is that you can leave white spots. We don't have to color things in perfectly because that water is gonna turn our markers into paint and that's gonna fill in all those little tiny cracks and things like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start kind of coloring in and I can kind of color quickly. I don't have to make things perfect, all right? Normally I would take my time and I'd make sure I fill things in more neatly, but today we get to be a little sloppy. We don't have to color things in super neatly. Now if I want to, I can. Um, I could have used like a, a skin tone here for myself, but I think it's more fun if we just kind of get abstract a little bit, okay? And what abstract means is not realistic. So something that's realistic looks real. I would have my regular color skin, I would have my greenish brown eyes, they kind of change colors, right? But it doesn't have to be realistic. So I'm making my skin kind of orange. I think I'm gonna make my head, ooh, look at that, that marker doesn't even work very well, but it doesn't even matter. I'm gonna give myself some reddish hair. This marker needs to, to find the marker recycling, I think. I'm gonna set that to the side. How about pink hair instead? And that marker doesn't work too great either, but I'm just going to kind of quickly kind of color things in. If I go outside the lines a little bit, it happens. It's not ideal, but it happens, okay? So I've got some of that there. That pink's not working great either, so I think, oh, there we go. This kind of darker reddish maroon here works even better. So I might even put some more on this side, okay? Now I'm just kind of quickly coloring that in. Now in the background, kind of outside of our self-portrait, we can make that um, any color or design that we want to too. So maybe instead of using just my warm colors, I've got some cool colors over here too. Maybe I'm gonna add some cool little stripes through here or squiggly lines with my um, other colors. And then maybe I want my t-shirt instead of being one of the, the warm colors. Maybe I want to uh, grab a purple. And so I'm gonna add some purple and I'm gonna kind of go around my t-shirt. Oops, I forgot my neck. I'm gonna wanna make sure I get that colored in too, okay? And then look at this. I'm just kind of coloring it in quickly. I'm leaving a lot of Swiss cheese, but that's okay. All right, let me get this back out and I'll have a yellow neck. Okay, so then I can set my markers off to the side and I'm ready to grab my water cup. And watch what happens when I um, dip it, wipe it on the lip bit. Not these lipids, you can't see what I'm pointing at. But then I go ahead and paint it. And that marker is gonna start to spread and it's kinda hard to see on the video here. When you are working in person, it's gonna turn out better. I'm gonna try to avoid painting my teeth if I can. I'd rather leave those white. Um, but I'm just gonna start kind of coloring that in. And as I do, it's gonna to continue to spread out and become more and more like watercolor paint, okay? It's not exactly like watercolor paint, is it? No, but it's pretty fun and it's pretty close. Okay, and a little less messy. All right, so then I can keep going with that. Maybe I'm gonna work on my hair a little bit. Hopefully you can kind of see it starting to spread out a little bit more through my hair. Okay, and just trying to fill 
that in. The fun part is when you have multiple colors next to each other and they start to kind of mix and blend and things like that. Okay, but that's what we're going to be working on today. We're going to go ahead, I'm going to keep going and finish it and hopefully it'll be done by the time you guys see this video.